What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Logic Bots, and it's been a while, I think it's been like a month at least, maybe even a couple months since we've played Logic Bots, but uh, I really do like this game, and we're not even halfway through the game, so I'm gonna continue with this, and I think I'm gonna try and push myself to do at least one Logic Bots video uh, per week, and, and really keep going on the series. But today we're back, and we are continuing, of course, with the career mode, and we've finished the college and the industrial estate, and, uh, and now we're on to military, and then we've got contractors and the warehouse. But on the military, we did GPS navigation number one. And uh, just to take a little bit of a break from the GPS navigation, I'm not going to do GPS navigation two. Uh, it's, it's basically the same thing as navigation one. So I figure we'll do that, you know, next week or something like that. So today I wanted to do something pretty cool. And uh, it's not even the mind search. I want to do the truck follow. The reason why I want to do the truck follow is because this is something that is very similar to what we do with logic in scrap mechanic. We do followers all the time in scrap mechanic. And I figure, uh, you know, if we're doing a, a follower with some logic and scrap mechanic, should be able to make a truck follower no problem. Now, I haven't actually looked at what this level is, but uh, I'm assuming we have to follow a truck. Build a logic bot that can follow a scale model of a truck. It must remain within two meters of the truck's rear. Okay, complete the level in three minutes and 40 seconds or less. Complete the level with a robot cost of 700 or less. Complete the level without using any ultrasonic rangers or laser rangers. So those are types of sensors. Okay, so what's the level look like? Okay, so this is our truck. I mean, all we're really gonna do is just put a sensor on either side, and if that side detects the truck, it turns in that direction. I think that's that's really all we have to do, right? Same sense in Scrap Mechanic. You know, you put a sensor on either side of the course, and uh, and you can do it. I, I really like this truck, though. All right, let's, let's do this. So, what do we got for bodies? Just the twin motor framework. Perfect. Uh, we'll delete the existing snap lines, because for some reason they're always there. And these are just, of course, for symmetry. Just so you can uh, you can line everything up nicely, just like that. That's your left motor, right? Yeah. Okay. Why do I have a fidget spinner? Is there? There's a fidget spinner? A triple wheel designed for climbing stairs. Oh, okay, cool. For sensors, it said we can't use ultrasonic rangers or laser rangers. So I have to use proximity sensors. Okay. What's the? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I do not like. I do not like those sensors at all. All right, well, let's build a, uh, a box section. That should be good. Okay, and then we'll just put like one proximity sensor on either, of course, let's rotate these zero. Yeah, we'll just put one on either side like this. All right, so boom, proximity sensor two, of course, unlabeled, because why would I need them labeled? Uh, this one is the right sensor, and this one is the left sensor. Okay, perfect. So on the circuit board, we've got right and left. We've got the two motors. So let's have our two motors always on with a dual switch. And we'll make our wires yellow because everybody likes wire yellow wires. So right motor on like this and the left motor on like that. Perfect. So they're always on. And really simply, if the right sensor is triggered, then that means we are turning to the right so we're gonna go the right motor direction and if the left sensor is triggered it means we have to turn to the left so we're gonna go the left direction and uh, there we go so all it's doing basically is when the truck turns into this oh boy it missed it oh no it by truck what I'm gonna do is put another little box section another little small 50 by 50 yeah, and then we'll just move this, right? So now we can control that sensor angle by adjusting that box section. And uh, and then we'll do the same over here. So we'll make another little box section and we'll put it at negative 30 degrees. Like so. It doesn't really matter if they're perfect. It's as long as they're close. And then hopefully uh, we'll drive right up into the truck there. All right, there we go. Oh man, it takes that corner so tight. Hmm. The problem is I'm not fast enough. I need to I need to be fast enough to catch the truck. Oh, there we go. That's better. No, see, I'm not I'm not fast enough. It's not staying close enough to the truck. That's the first problem. So let's move this whole thing back a little bit, and uh, and hopefully that'll see. We're we're not even catching the truck really. We're gonna have the same effect because. 
I need to I need to catch the truck. How do we how do we catch the truck? How do we make this thing faster? Is there a way to make this faster? Yeah. So clearly clearly all we need to do is make a dragster. The big wheels, see that's see now we're close enough to the truck. That was the problem. We weren't fast enough. So you need the big wheels to make this sort of dragster. And uh, and now we're following the truck no problem. And that sensor you see it's just picking up the side of the truck and whenever the truck hits the side of it It'll detect it. Interesting. The big wheels have a bigger radius. I think the motor spins at a constant speed, but uh, with the bigger radius, we can follow the truck. So this is good. I, th I think this will work. The, the dragster design seems to be doing well. We probably don't even need powered front wheels, to be honest, at this point. But, uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. It just picked up the... Oh, no. It picked up the ground. Okay, you know what? So we, we can't be sloped down as, as we are there. So we're going to need to move this up. We'll just move you back for now. We're gonna build another box section. Perfect. That's a that's a good looking logic bot there. All right, and then we'll put some wheels back on it. So left motor there, and hopefully now we won't pick up the ground. So what happened there, I believe, is one of these sensors because they have such a large cone, it picked up the ground, and then it caused the logic bot to turn away from the truck. So hopefully this gives us enough ground clearance that we'll uh, we'll be okay. All right, let's just there we go. Oh yeah, this is good. Might be a little a little too quick now. Now it's just really hugging hugging that truck. But you know you could do a very similar thing in scrap mechanic. Obviously you could use sensors and have a sensor with a knot gate, have it scan for the vehicle in front of it, and uh, when it goes off either side of the vehicle in front of it, you know it turns into the vehicle. We could probably do this without the big bar on the top as well. We could probably do it just by by having uh, the sensors sort of facing outwards on an angle. But, you know, this this seems to work pretty well. Um, hopefully, this is where it screwed up. See, it went down that lip and hit the bump. So, hopefully, it doesn't do that. No, see, we're good now. Yeah, it was. It clearly just picked up this edge with the one sensor. And uh, this is awesome. Truck following robot. Where are we going, anyways? I don't even know how long distance. 0.9 meters. Okay, so we're within the right distance. Budget 700. I don't know how much we spent. I don't think we spent 700. Best time. I mean, the time goal, it's as fast as this truck's going to go. I mean, clearly, 3 minutes and 40 seconds is the time goal. So, obviously, we're going to be waiting for a while. I mean, I don't think this thing's going to lose, though. Are you going... Are you we're going behind there? Really? Okay. As long as we don't pick up the fence. I mean, if we start tracking the fence, that would it's going to bring us, like, right next to the fence, isn't it? Oh, don't track the fence. No, we're, we're got, we got distance. Okay. Like, that's that's the issue with this system because these infrared sensors are kind of like the sensors in, in Scrap Mechanic. I mean, you know, they don't distinguish between what's the truck and what's just an object. So if it were to track, like, the fence or something, then the wheels would start turning away from it. Basically, it's a really simple circuit. All it's, uh, all it's doing is it's saying, okay... I have a sensor on either side. If this sensor picks up an object, reverse these wheels because that means like clearly the truck's turning. So every time the truck turns, the sensor picks up the fact that the truck body is, is moving in front of it and it turns itself accordingly. Same sense on this side, it does the same thing and reverses these left wheels. So, you know, we're doing we're doing good. Okay, let's hopefully we handle this hill no problem. Oh boy. We're veering off a little bit. And I'll get back on there. I think it picked up a little bit of that hill, but it's okay because the truck was just going straight. Are we making it back now? Oh, nice. It's not even th three. What? Why would you put a time goal of 340 on a level that clearly takes three minutes? What an interesting game flaw. Are we going to do it? Yes! All four achievements. Three minutes and one second. $660. 13 parts. One gate. Logic gates. Like I said, guys, a really simple... Uh, a really simple system there, you see. So all we had to do was uh, just have these sensors. And it, it, again, very, very easy to do this in Scrap Mechanic. You know, you have two motors, and you can have one motor on either direction, and you can just turn the motor on and off. Or you can do uh, two motors on either side and control whether or not you're doing the forward or the reverse motor, uh, because obviously we don't get the ability to reverse it. But a very, very simple circuit, you can see. Just left sensor triggers left, and right triggers right. And, uh, you know, once we got the speed settings right with those tires, we create the ultimate truck following robot.
But let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments down below and uh, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Obviously, we've got uh, still more GPS navigation to do, mine search, which is very interesting, uh, remote controls, stair climbs, and then we've got, you know, a whole other two levels still to complete. So like I said, I am going to try and do more Logic Bots videos. I really like Logic Bots. I think it's an awesome game and I think you can apply the same concepts, well I know you can apply the same concepts from Logic Bots into other stuff that you build in other games. So make sure you guys hit those buttons down below and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time.